guys, alright, I guess we're playing this game Oxen for right now. I heard it was good. Um, that doesn't mean shit. Uh, but we'll try it. Okay, we'll try it. And uh, yes, I'm not gonna read everything they're saying, because you could see it, you could hear it, you know? It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Is this guy like having a stroke or something? Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, my... My mind drifted uh, my for a check. second. 8 p.m. Oh, So you shit. all moved in? Um, it's a bad time not, to be on a boat. not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah, 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 they hit it off. Aw, that's downright adorable. Drink more. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what? Does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. Oh, yeah. I forgot that... Uh, who's the... Uh, who's driving this? That's C, Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there, Karen? Yeah, what's up with that? Does no one normally go there at night? Nobody really lives there, so no. And Karen's not gonna mind that we're spending the night. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Yeah, no, it's a... Hey, there's an old ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel, it says? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blobs. Ugh, it's so creepy now to think about. Why? We were babies. It's funny. That's all. Passengers, we'll be arriving soon. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like... Fine, just hold the camera out. Like, far. I don't look my freshest right now. It's true, Jonas. This is like B minus Alex. Just for your uh, calibration. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk. Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lying guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? Oh, all right. There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. Wow, that's <laughs> Ah, that's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. Alright, let's fucking do this. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. 
If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. Yeah, I won't nice. undercook it. You'll see. I'm straight, I'll say. Ali Ali Oxen Frey. Oh. Wow, Red is so annoying. Look at him. Why do I get this at am I? Trying to tell with that. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Yeah, thanks. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. The last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. All right. My other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? Wow. And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends? Uh, really? Just... Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... Well, no, it's, it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill, in case... whatever. I can't bench. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Yeah, he's... <sighs> Look, just what did you want to talk to me about before I suspect something nefarious? No, it's nothing. It's not bad. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. Not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons, lemonade, however that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. <laughs> yeah, I'm an optimist, and proud of it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the base. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. When the flag is flying, we are... funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. We can yeah. catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. Yeah, he took way too fucking long. It's kinda kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy. Yeah, it's like a quiche. Uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure. Either one. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, but 102.3? I just want to see how it works. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941 and commissioned into service at the end of that year under the command of Lieutenant James Earl Clapman. On October 28, 1943, it was sunk by the Japanese sub-chaser Tokusada some 25 miles off the coast of Washington and remains, to this day, the only submarine casualty in American waters. 85 officers, as well as 12 Army passengers, were lost. The propeller was recovered in 1962 and in 1965 erected as a monument to the heroism of the brave men and women who tragically perished. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Parks and Facilities Office. Ren's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, all right. Man, they close up early. I guess no yeah, point in staying open really if funny. nobody's here. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. 
Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh. Wow, that's actually kind of funny. The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that- Oh shit, this place is fucking huge. We used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look, there must be something. I mean, if Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after- I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's they try. It, Chris. Anyways, the town's youths keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. No, 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 I, um, I, I got it. Wait, we're not allowed here after dark? So, like, what's our plan if we get caught? We won't! I had to promise Karen I'd shovel her driveway all winter so she just looked the other way. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth? The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just... It's, um... It's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. I did it once. It's amazing when it works. So back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owned some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house. I can't imagine living in the same exact house, looking at the same exact walls for that long a time. Well, it takes a certain someone. And actually, you know what? Speaking of the opposite of those certain someones, drum roll please. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah. And did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh. Huh. Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just. If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. Uh, yeah, an education. That's all. That's my whole spiel. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want. Forget I said anything. Thank you. I will. Thanks so much for bringing me out, you guys. I can tell I'm gonna have a really good time. Ugh, I'm sorry. We'll stop. Yeah, this'll be fun, don't worry. Even if Alex is a listless drifter ruining her own life. What the fuck? Fucking asshole, I'm gonna push him off the fucking cliffs tonight. God damn. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything. All right? Ren, relax. Oh, and okay, Ren, Jonas. Now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Just leave it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear everything. I don't have to hear everything, but I want to hear everything. It's not a big deal, really. Just... Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car? Oh, well, that can... Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's Hell all try yeah. and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um, My mom married his dad, so 
family law and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? There's nobody else coming. We're it. What? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Ugh, come on, Clarissa. I'm fun. I'm hip. I'm with it. Listen to yourself. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting the picture now. I'm not even gonna fucking reply to that. What a fucking bitch. Goddamn. Fuck. Shit. I need a chicken coffee. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Yeah, let's just get drunk. It's supposed to be a party, right? Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, oh. anyway. Oldest living resident. Her family's been moving back and forth on the ferry, getting all of her crap. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. In her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And yeah, sometimes brother. play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Truth or slap? What's that? We used to call it hippo. Until we got tired of people asking, why is it called hippo? Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo, before you slap someone. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth. But if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Yeah, fun. An excuse to hit run. Hey, I'm the truthiest truth, whoever All truth, right, let's uh, just get on with it. OK, so first, we're going to. I'll start. Run. Uh huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, oh, right? Oh, shit. Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Oh, oh, man. You're good at this. Well, if being good means being kind of mean about it. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods. Yes. Now no. just say so. I, I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's... that's all. She's cool. She's... she's just a friend. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Thank you, Clarissa. This was a liar? Liar! He's lying! He totally likes her! What? Alex, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> I knew it. You can practically smell it on him. Can we just drop this, please? All right, Alex, you get first blood. Slap him like he stole something. I can't believe this is happening. This really doesn't. Hush, this is for your honor. Watch and relish. Eh, you've suffered enough. Oh, thanks! So, Alex's turn? Oh, great. Here we go. What's your favorite stuff there? Clarissa. Oh, boy. Yes, Mum? This is pretty fun just watching, I'll admit. If someone were to ask you to describe me, what would you say? He got wow. It. Really swinging for the we fences here. Match. I'd tell them you were an average girl with common thoughts. Jeez. Why don't you say... Well, I don't know what I was expecting, so... Okay. Clarissa's turn now. Alex. You got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um... Is there, like, a question coming or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably oh, gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't... Clarissa, I don't... Jonas is fine. He's not a scared puppy. None of that matters. Well, let's hear why your parents got a divorce in the first place, and we'll see if it matters. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just You the... know why. Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die, and everything will be wow. fine. What a... Okay, Clarissa, you what? bitch. You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's... 
Let's not stop like this. We should like- Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could And get... that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Man, what is your problem, Clarissa? Just what did we- What did I do to make you act like I ate the last piece of chocolate cake on your flippin' birthday? Nothing, Alex. You did absolutely nothing. A bitch. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosy happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Sure, we'll grab ya if we find any, um... Island Bigfoots? Island Bigfoots, exactly. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would, I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. I need more bear. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Uh, in a sec, okay? Yeah, just let me know. <laughs> Thanks for making the fire. Yeah, sure. Gotta put those owl scout lessons to use. Look, Nona, now that we're not playing that stupid game, what do you really think about Ren? Uh, what do you mean? You know, as a boyfriend. Oh, that. Look, Alex, Rin seems nice, and I know he's your friend and, you know, whatever, but I'm just not in the mood for something right now. Um, yeah, so if you could just, like, tell him that, just so he, like, doesn't get his hopes up or whatever. <sighs> yeah, sure thing. Thanks. You look relaxed. I am relaxed. Clarissa, seriously, what's your problem? Nothing's wrong, Alex, and even if something was wrong, there is no problem on the face of the earth that cannot be solved by what I'm doing right now. What's that? Staring into forever. Meditating? Yeah, sure. Island living, huh? Uh, yep. Let's hop this thing and check in with Run. All right, let's do it. Come on, I'll push you over. Whenever you're ready. Unless I get a crank in my back, which might happen if you don't go soon. So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? I don't know. A 1? Renz pulled me into a closet to look at a broom he swore looked like Abraham Lincoln, so... Adjust your expectations accordingly. <laughs> alright. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, what's her deal anyway? I don't know. That woman's perpetually on her period. Ugh. Okay. It's true! Kind of. Oh, and what the hell was up with you and the whole Nona thing with the game? I mean, okay, fine. Fun is fun. But I'm trying to get in with this girl, and it was as if you liked making me look like an idiot. Wow. Look, Ren, she told me to tell you that she's not in the mood for a relationship. Man, I knew when Clarissa dug in that it would screw the whole thing up with her. <sighs> this is so embarrassing. It's not about you. It's nothing personal. It's just where her priorities are, I guess. Seriously, forget about it. Yeah, you're right. Who cares? I'll get over it. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally. Me, me, me. Oh, wait, actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie Town. 
No, never mind. That's Come on, Ren. The last thing I want is to have to chase your frail, screaming body into the ocean because you want to pet a fish or something. What? Jonas is going to do it too. Right? Jonas? Mi comida, su comida? Uh, no thanks. I'm with her on the whole not flipping out and drowning myself thing. Okay. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know when it's... You'll know. Trust me. So just pull out your radio. Any day. It's even cooler than I thought it would be. What no is it? What's doing it? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Make any sense right? Well, it's just crazy, then, because I don't know. I don't think you actually if you move around, it kind of changes, out. too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. <laughs> this is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys. Uh, it sounds so. Yeah, it sounds. Uh. Like fucking satanic. Satanic. Bitch. Not what I was gonna say. Uh, but close enough. Wait, what was that? There's like. This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous? No, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there, like a giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears right, mannequin go, wigs. Come on. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something, like a freshwater Come one, on, maybe. Bitch. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. If it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here, because I think... Shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. What? Uh, We're happy. Except Larson, what a fucking bitch. Look at her bitch face. I know it's pretty pretty, though. Jonas is pretty cool. Alright, so where are we? We're still on the beach. Oh, we're almost at the Adler estate. Jonas, where are you? Where are you, bitch?
Why would a guy bring an ashtray down here? Or a pen? See a man about a dog. Sure. Are you okay? Jesus, you scared me. Oh, I scared you? You scared me. I had no idea where you were. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought I thought I heard somebody down here, but you know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this how this happens. No, it's uh it's, it's beautiful. beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. Maybe it is someone. You ever think of that? Maybe it's the crazy guy who lives here and he's gonna eat out our stomachs. <laughs> well, where is he then? Like, what is this made out of? Is it what? ice? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? Um, yes. It, Apart from the, um, the triangle, this is oh, honestly man. the craziest thing in here. Like, how did he even get in? And I mean, aside from some, like, water damage, it's not really even that junky. I know. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in. Saw the man, not the dog. What the crap does that mean? A guy who can't see dogs? Did you see the first half? See a man about a dog? Yeah, I don't get it either. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Let no. I guess it's locked. Yeah, I already tried. Alex, just... Look, I think you tuned in the triangle when we were outside. So let's see what else happens if you tweak the dial some more. Oh my god. Is this... Are you... Is this... You? Are you doing this? Insane. Uh, who? Who are you? Uh, are are you? Who are you on the? Listen, Bob Tail. She Tail. Sleepy. Time is possible. Um, yeah, sure. Leave possible. Bob Tail. Leave children. Bye. Others will see them soon. Alex. What? Oxen, uh, for us. For us, um, oxen. Um, for us, uh, e oxen, I free. Alex! Alex! Alex? Holy shit, Epiphany failed. What the fuck? <sighs> Are you okay? You alright? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm fine. God. You sure? I'm as sure as I think I'm gonna be. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there. But the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the part- No, I'm way ahead of you. 
There's gotta be some kind of emergency station or way to get out without taking the ferry. Oh, enough for nothing. I'm fine with a little deep pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it, but Harden Tower. Oh, it's called that, I think, because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> Wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> <laughs> yep. It almost makes the whole trip worth it, doesn't it? I wouldn't go that far. What do you think happened to them? They're just being lame. I can hear Ren now. Let's go to the fort and throw rocks at walls. Great. It's locked. Let me try. Oh, after you. Oh, why, thank you. If you want to do things the easy way, sure. I love this bitch. Warning, do not use aboard ship unsafe radiation limits. You know, I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting, really. You know, normally. Thanks. I guess. Is, um, is anyone there? That crocodile's talking back? It's, um, dead. Did you get anyone? I don't think so. The fence should be off now. Great, but, um, don't take offense. Ah! Ah! Jesus! Yes, sir. Hello? Alex? Ren? Uh, oh, Jesus, Hoppin, Christ, thank Vishnu. I, you guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> Ren, how are you calling us? Phones don't work here. It's it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at uh the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like like just the worst thing ever. Just Ren, are you all right? Like physically all right? Because I know mentally. No, probably. I'm not all right. I mean, do I sound all right or do I sound not all right? Fucking I probably right sound so. not all right, right? Wait, I, I I think that's the other line. Maybe it's like a night watchman or something. Wait, something? Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick, seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ, Alex? Why are you answering it? This, it says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa? And Jonas is with you. Of course he is. Rough night, huh? Yeah, rough night. It's... <sighs> Look, I'm at Fort Milner, and I don't know why. It's like I'm blackout drunk or something, but... I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can... It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't... I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if you guys want to stay. Yeah, sure. We'll be over there in a minute. Okay, just hurry, okay? There's like... I don't know. I'm hearing stuff outside. Fort Milner looked huge Jesus. on the map. Do you know where the... And it dies, Late. Ren, are you still there? Yeah, I guess that'd be too easy. You told Clarissa we're coming, so want to truck over to Milner first, see about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. 
Uh, yeah. If we can connect to the mainland and get somebody over here, we should do it as soon as we can. My thoughts exactly. My thoughts exactly, Jenna. Okay, so we're right there. Help Clarissa. All right, our rescuing duties have officially commenced. Let's get this done and get off this rock like the badasses we are. Yeah, righteous. Righteous, dude. Righteous, dude. We need a chicken nugget and a chicken nugget world. telecommunication functions, including point-to-point -point from its receivers, microwave from its dish, Ka band for satellite reception, and military air band for nearby aircraft. Unique in its construction, the tower houses its office in a segmented platform directly underneath. How are you, uh, doing? I'm fine, I guess. Why? Just checking, you know? Okay. How are you? You're doing great. Thanks for asking, but I feel like you're only asking because I asked you. Okay. Huh? What is that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Clarissa? Damn it, is, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something? Well, she's around here somewhere. I was worried, honestly, that she, um, might have left. She sounded so Yeah, she's over there. Sort of scared. Like in dire straits of actual trouble right now scared? Look, I think we can all be included in whatever definition of trouble there is, so... Okay, bitch. Let's go get Clarissa. Ren said something about yeah, Fort yeah, Milner being yeah. decommissioned, right? But, and hear me out, what if it isn't? No way it is. What if they just said it was decommissioned? Uh, nope. Decommissioned since 1974. They didn't have any use for a billion dollar defender of Willamette Valley. Go fig. It's like, it's not locked. There's like something blocking it. Clarissa! She wouldn't have barricaded herself inside, right? What do you think? Keep looking. I think she's here. Really? I mean, the door could be blocked by anything. It, it could have been blocked before she even got here. Yeah, right? Here. I don't know. I just... I just have a hunch about this one. Oh, you mean the only door we've checked. All right. Okay, let's find a way in, I guess. Guess we gotta go this way. Not enter without permission of the installation commander. Whatever you say, sign. Whatever you say, sign.
that light. For some reason, it reminds me of the cave. Dinner time. It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? There we go, finally. Yes, I do want to play a game. All right, I know the answer is no, but we kind of do have to find Clarissa, so let's just ignore the question and thank the weird. Sure. I'm a no means business. Wait, all business can be girl. No funny business. That's what I'm talking about. I'm a no funny business type of girl. You know, my name is like. Uh, Alex, I am cool. Let's just do this. Alright, close time. Where's that bitch? I'm trying to just throw some fucking alcohol in her face and get the fuck out of here. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't be locked. Come on. Well, we didn't really need to go back anyway, right? Unless there's no way out, then yes, we might have. Well, Clarissa got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Um, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? <sighs> yes, quite annoyingly. I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like, sort of thing? I'm just trying to... Well, you know, you'd have to ask him what he was into, I guess. I mean, just from what I've heard of him, like that one story about the cops just straight buying him a beer? Ah, uh, can you imagine sleeping here? I'm trying not to. But why would the construction guys leave the bed frames? Seems kind of... I don't know. Kind of morbid. Let's just find that girl and get out of here. But what do you think Mike saw in Clarissa, really? Other than, I guess... The obvious. Look, Jonas. Girls go for assholes and guys go for... Hey, that's... Clarissa! Don't just leave me here, Jonas! Wait! Jonas! Why do you always run off first? It's not a race. Jonas, let me in. I'm not in the mood. Let me in, bitch. Oh. All right, guess I gotta go back upstairs. I see you, bitch. Now you're watching. Testing, testing. Um, okay. I can't... I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but luckily this oh. radio thing's working. Look, whatever. Clarissa's not in here, and it's just a room, so, like, riddle me that, first of all, and then, second of all, I can't get out. The door opened, like, a second ago. Can't you... Are you sure you're just not turning the knob the right way, or... I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but... Hello? Are you... Look, is someone there? When the time comes, let Jonas talk to his mom. What is this? What is this? What does this mean? Who, who are you? Ow. Okay, what just happened? Because that... that sucked. Oh, here's a padlock code. 3418. It's on a list of... Huh. They call codes cookies. Is that slang or something? I don't know, but we got the combo, so great. Hey, did I... Did, did you see that? In... in the no, mirror? I didn't see anything. The reflection... was weird. 
No, I missed it. What happened? The... it was... like... our reflections. I, I don't know, it wasn't normal. I'm gonna take a picture, see if the flash... Okay. Make it snappy. Get it? I'm choosing not to get it. anything. <sighs> I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen, so let's just carry on. Oh, okay. Hello, sir. Or should I say, ma'am? Oh, I'm gonna hate to go out in that. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now, so since we're stuck and- Oh my god, go in the corner then. Uh, Clarissa! Okay, that was definitely her. What is she? Is this just like a game to her or something? Clarissa, come back! We came to help you, don't- Ugh. Hello? Is this thing- is this- God, is this- is this going out or- Wait, I can... Oh, I can hear myself. The handprints are a macabre touch. Do you know who did that? Please tell me it's like a known thing teenagers here do or something. I really have no idea. Well, you really couldn't... High in the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey, kids. Want to play a game? Ugh. What is it doing? Hangman? Be sharp and listen, mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like a test? Hey, why are we being tested? What did we do? Are you signed up? Here's a simple one to start, so don't hold your breath. What is the name of the school you are standing in? School Ten. we're standing in? Isn't this Nine. like a classroom? Eight. I, I thought... Uh, Fort Milner, right? I mean, that's not a... Our friends are... The US Army are... ...finding this tough. what you are. I, I don't know what you want out of this. We are not cruel. It is fair. This is fair. Oh, Jesus. What is going on? Ugh, I feel like I'm stuck on a tilt-a-whirl. Just keep the pointer on the button. Question two. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Who would know that? This isn't World War Nine. II. Nobody calls anything- You call codes cookies? There. Now you're cooking. Coded radio transmitters have an important job, and you wouldn't want them to be unqualified. Uh, no. I mean, like any job, right? Like anything, right. We are an 